Hi guys, Mrs. Chevron here. I'm going to show you a really cool project today that you guys can do at home. I call it a shoebox film strip. Um, so here's what you're going to need. If you have a shoebox, that will work really well. But if you're like me and you don't have any shoeboxes at home, you just need some kind of box um, that is about the size of a shoebox. Ask your parents first before you take a box though. Um, so if you have a fruit snack box or a cracker box like I do, that will work really good. Okay, you're also going to need some paper. At least one sheet of paper, but you might need more. You need scissors and a little bit of tape. You're going to need two pencils. And if you don't have two pencils, you could use two straws or something similar to this in size. You could even use two sticks that are about this size if you can find them outside and if they're really sturdy. And then you need something to write and color with. So um, pencil, pen, crayons, markers, colored pencils. So here's what you're gonna do. If you're using a shoe box, then you're set, you're ready. But if you're using a regular box like me, you need to cut an opening in the box. I've already done that on the back side. Um, you need to be really, really careful because it's a little bit tricky, but you need to cut out just a rectangular shape in the box. Now the next part is a little tricky too. You need to make some holes. You're going to make two holes on the top and two holes on the bottom. Your holes should be about at the edge of your rectangle that you've cut and they need to be on top of each other. So like this circle is here that I used my scissors to cut out and my other circle is right across from it on the bottom side. Do you see it there? All right, same thing here. I have a hole on the top and then I used my scissors to make a hole on the bottom. So try to make sure they're across from each other because here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your pencil and you're actually gonna shove it through the holes and you're gonna go all the way through to the other side. That's why you wanna make sure your box isn't too big because if your box is too big, your pencils aren't gonna fit through. They're gonna be too small. So you need a box that you can stick a pencil through and it will stick out on both sides. So you need to have a little bit of pencil here and a little bit of pencil here. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take your other pencil and we're gonna put it all the way through to the other side. Okay, so now we have this. This is going to be um, like the backdrop. This is what's gonna hold it all together. The next thing you need to do is you need to cut your paper in half so that it will fit inside your box because right now my paper is bigger than my box. That's not going to fit. I'm going to cut my paper across lengthwise here. So I'm going to take my scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try your best. Just cutting all the way across. So now I have some really long sheets and I just want to check and make sure that they will fit inside my box. Yep, that will fit inside my box. I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape my pages together so it's a long sheet of paper, okay? Now, like I said, you might want to use one paper, but you might want to use more than one paper because what we're going to be doing is we're going to write a story and if you make a really long story then you might need more than one sheet of paper hold on i dropped one of my sheets okay i'm back all right so i'm going to take my tape and i'm going to tape these together Whoop. so i have a really long sheet now in a story you should at least have a beginning and a middle and an end but like i said if you want to do more than that you can it can be a fiction story. It can be a nonfiction story. It can be something that's happened to you. It could be about a show or a movie that you've seen. You decide what you wanna do. But what you're gonna do is you are going to write your story and draw pictures on your paper. Now, when you work on it, you need to make sure that it's about the same size as the opening in your box. So when I do mine, what I do is I lay my paper on the table and I put my box above it. And so when I write my words on my paper and I do my pictures, I make sure that I'm just using this section here that will fit inside the box. 
okay? Because what's going to happen when we're done is we're going to put the paper inside. And if our words and our pictures are too big, we're not going to be able to see it through the box, okay? So make sure it's about the same size as our opening here. And then what you're going to do when you are all finished with your story and you have your beginning and your middle and your end is you are going to take a little bit of tape again. You are going to stick your paper inside your box and you are actually going to tape it to the pencil. Okay, so I'm going to put my tape at the end of my paper. I'm going to put it inside the box and I'm going to tape it onto my pencil here. And then what you're going to do is you are going to roll and you are going to roll your paper. And while I do that, you can kind of hopefully see that the paper is rolling itself into the box. Okay. And then once you get to this end, then you'll tape that into the other pencil. So your finished project, which I already have one, should look like this. And then you can see your story inside of your box and you can read it, you can see your illustrations, and then all you have to do is use your pencils here and turn them at the top to read the middle of your story. And then keep turning to read the end of your story. And that is how you make a shoebox film strip. I hope that you are able to make one of these at home and you have a lot of fun with it and I would love to see it if you get to make one. Bye!